control. Uh, first thing you'll notice is one, it looks like your standard remote control uh, that you that typical in TV homes. Comes with the uh, touchpad. It's also impressive as well. Functionality about it: on the sides you'll see uh, volume and channel rockers. Okay. It takes two AA batteries. On you just press open here, open up, you get two AA batteries. On the opposite side is a full QWERTY keyboard. It is backlit. Uh, the orange, orange uh, icons that you see over here serves as a secondary function. Right. So you can press that, and you'll be able to access secondary functions on uh, the buttons as well. Very uh, minimalized. Very minimalized. I think uh, first, first and foremost, I think it's very comfortable. It's not bulky. It's something you're already used to having. Uh, very comfortable to press. All the fun all the functions that you would expect uh, to navigate through the through the internet player uh, is comfortably on your hands. Backlit keyboard is another key thing. Uh, don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's it's great great function. All the buttons that you expect in a Google powered device is on there. You got your back key, search button. Uh, they'll, t they'll talk a little bit more about the search button. Any home, it's not something that'll take up a lot of. Uh, Space. On the back of it, you'll see two uh, HMI ports, one's in and one's in out. It serves as an HMI pass-through, so you'll be able to connect uh, your PVR, even your Blu-ray player, or other device that you want to pass through. It is 3D compatible, so you'll be able to pass through uh, 3D context. It's Wi-Fi, It is uh, Wi-Fi compatible, a wireless end. It does have your Ethernet cable as well. Two USB ports uh, on the side that serves as um, for mass storage devices. Also be able to add uh, uh, several peripherals, uh, such as a keyboard or a mouse, if you, if you prefer that route instead of the... Uh, the beauty of the remote, first and foremost, is the fact that it uh, functions together with your PVR. So right out of the box, you'll be able to control your Rogers or Bell Express box. We've got a Rogers box hooked up on that side. Uh, didn't have a long enough cable to actually yeah. set it up over here, but it does work. So as you see, if you press the guide, and the TV doesn't have to be Sony. It doesn't have to be Sony. Yeah. Exactly, it doesn't have to be Sony. The setup is extremely easy. Uh, pretty much, you just type in what TV that you want through the setup, and it'll find it through searching. Uh, very similar to what we have in our tablet, actually. Okay. Uh, so if you, as you notice, when I pressed the guide, it went direct, directly to the uh, PVR guide. The DVR would obviously access the, all your recordings. Right there, there you go. And there's different ways, obviously, to navigate using this remote. One, you can obviously use the top, left, right uh, navigation buttons here. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually use the touchpad over here. Oh, okay. Very easy to use. And the touchpad is pretty much, as far as I know, every application, uh, the home screen, uh, I've been able to use this touchpad. So, and it's also pressable. Ch changing channels. Once you hooked up your PVR to it, it will automatically recognize that you're uh, trying to change the channel. So again, pressing up, down, on the side. It's, it's kind of easy, because when you're holding it like this. Yeah. Also volume control. I've hooked up a home theater device. Mm -hmm. uh, our, these are our Sony receiver. It can be any receiver. And I was able to automatically recognize and control the volume with it. You could set it up inside the system settings which volume you want it to control, whether it be the TV or uh, the receiver. By default, you could choose which one you prefer 